Hello friends, welcome back to Sack's Garage. I am Sack, and this is actually not my garage. We're in my office. Uh, today, got some, uh, some gun content for you. Uh, this is educational, so if this channel ever does get monetized, this is for educational purposes only. We are not modifying uh, any weapons or anything like that. So, uh, what we have here is the magazine, 13 round, from the... MNP Shield Plus 9mm. It is a very common problem that people are only able to get 12 rounds into their 13 round magazine. Okay, so this only has 12 in it. I'm going to try and I cannot for the life of me ugh, get that 13th round in. Okay, here's why. If you look in here, the springs stack up. Okay, and what happens is the springs end up not lining up properly and they push up towards the top of the mag here and they prevent the follower from going down. Let me see if I can get some light in there for you so you can see the follower actually stacked up. Uh, you can see it on that side, kind of. But basically there's one round spot in there that isn't... Uh, getting utilized because the spring is in the way, okay? The reason that the spring is in the way is because it's not letting that follower slide past it because what happens, here's one that's out, is the spring is supposed to fall into this indent right here, okay? What's happening is the design of this indent is inadequate. So what's happening is instead of the spring sliding down into the slot like it's supposed to, it's actually catching up on this top edge here. And so the last one or two coils is not actually physically able to slide down into this passageway here. We'll turn it sideways. Not able to physically turn or go down into this passageway right here. So you're losing out on, you know, a little bit there, which is where that last round comes into account. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this magazine. So the way that you take these apart is you get a small flathead screwdriver, you stick it in the slot that's right here and push it, push this plate off. Okay. Keep your thumb over it. I have a bunch of rounds in there, so it's probably going to try to pop out at me. That's okay. Here's actually a good, the spring actually got stuck. That's actually a really good picture right there. You can see down there that the follower is stuck behind all of those spring coils. I'm going to try to get as close as I can here for you. Get some light on it. And that, my friends, is why, come on. We are not able to get 12 rounds into our 13 round magazine because that whole bigger outside coil is not able to push past the follower. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take this out real quick. Let's take some rounds out to get some of that spring tension gone. All right, and the spring is coming out like that. All right, take the follower off, get screwdriver in there, snap it off, good to go. All right, now, the GoPro doesn't have super good resolution. Basically, what we're looking at here is the left one is the stock follower, the right one is the one that I fixed, okay? We fixed it. Fixed, not the M word. You can see here that the bottom of this follower here is flat, okay? So what's happening is the spring is trying to come up and find its way into this channel right here that it's supposed to rest in but it's getting caught on this flat surface right here and it's not able to bump past. If you read the forums, people are reporting that sometimes when they're getting this mag fixed, 
uh, and they're able to get that last round in, they hear a loud pop. That pop is the spring working its way over this lip and down into the channel like it's supposed to. So to fix it is you need to eliminate this flat lip, okay? This looks a lot like a feed ramp for any gun, okay? So think of it like you're polishing your feed ramp, okay? Uh, I personally just used the blade on a Leatherman because that's what I had at my desk with me while I was trying to sort this out. But basically, all you have to do is shave down this plastic a little bit to create a nice, smooth passageway for the spring to basically hit this surface and then slide down into the channel here. So it's kind of hard to tell, but this right here and here has little to no flat surface like this. So if the spring hits this, it's forced down and into the channel, okay? Forced down and in. All right. The stock follower has a little tiny bit here in this valley, but that's not where the spring hits initially. The spring is going to hit up on these two flat parts, and that's where it gets hung up. So uh, all you have to do, like I said, I used a blade. You can use a Dremel, a utility knife, anything. Just make that so that it's smooth and can feed the spring down into this passageway. And that's how you're going to fix this problem, okay? Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause. I'm going to reassemble this and I'll show you that it works. Alright, we're at 10 rounds. You can see there on the window, you got 10 rounds. I'm going to add the last three. One. Two. And three. I'm physically able to add the three. I've got 13 there, and you can see here my orange follower is right at the bottom of the magazine. Okay? This works. You can see that the spring is now pushed into the channel. It's kind of hard to tell on the GoPro here, but you'll just have to trust me. I've now done three of my five magazines like this. It works. Uh, please consider giving this a like, a share, and a subscribe. Let all your friends know that this fix works, okay? It works, it works, it works. Uh, happy shooting, and we'll see you next time on Sax Garage.